The game of the people. Literally, billions of people. The planet's second biggest sport is played from India to Australia, the West Indies to Zimbabwe. Originally exported from England to Her Majesty's colonies, cricket was exclusively a game for gentlemen with breaks for lunch, tea, rain, poor light, and the odd local uprising. Today, the game has five times more fans worldwide than its American cousin baseball, and with good reason. Just for starters, cricket is played on an oval field, a giant playing area 400% bigger than a baseball field. Cricket has 100% more batsmen than baseball who score runs by sprinting between wickets rather than bases. The fielding team bowl the ball over arm at the batsmen in an attempt to knock the bales from the stumps and get them out. Like baseball, players can be bowled or caught or run out as well as by leg before wicket. Stumped, caught handling the ball, obstructing the fielder. When 10 of the batsmen have been dismissed or have been delivered 300 balls or 50 overs, the team's innings is over and the opposition take their turn to bat. Unlike baseball, the batting team wield a mighty two by four to prevent the ball striking the stumps as they attempt to score runs. The team with the most runs at the end of the game wins. If the scores are equal, a tie is declared. Players can score individual runs by running between the wickets. Four runs by hitting the ball to the boundary, or six runs by knocking the ball clean over the boundary rope. In 2015, the ICC Cricket World Cup will be contested in Australia and New Zealand to decide the world champions. Two pools of seven national teams will vine around Robin stage to make the quarterfinal playoffs. And finally, on March 29th, the last team standing will be crowned the champions of the world. Only in the case of cricket, we really do mean the world.